I know that Miss Griffin has been doing a lot of animal science with you. And today I sat in on a morning meeting with Miss Lewis's class where they were talking about the difference between herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. So I thought I would read a book to you about my favorite omnivore, the fox. It's also my favorite animal ever. Both of my daughters are named after foxes. So if you don't remember or you haven't learned it yet, omnivores means that that animal eats both plants and other animals. So foxes are omnivores because they eat vegetation, like they eat like some kinds of like berries and things like that, but they also eat small insects and they eat eggs. So they are omnivores. Foxes. Okay, so up here, the very first thing it says is, can you find these four photos in this book? So be looking for this, 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 and this. Foxes live around the world. They are members of the dog family. There are 12 kinds of true foxes. The red fox is the most widespread of any fox. Usually when you think of foxes, this is the kind you think of. Foxes have fur and bushy tails. Their ears point up. Their snouts are long and thin. Around the nose are many soft black whiskers. Like all foxes, these two kit foxes use their whiskers to feel when other animals are nearby. Kit foxes are what you call baby foxes or children. So if it's not an adult, it is a kit. And that just told us that they use their whiskers to feel when other foxes are nearby. That's interesting. Male foxes are bigger than females. The largest kind of fox is the red fox. It weighs 15 to 30 pounds. Fennec foxes are the smallest. They weigh about three and a half pounds. Fennec foxes have large ears that help them hear better and cool off in hot places. Some foxes live in cold northern parts of the world. Some live in dry deserts. Arctic, Kit, Swift, and Red foxes make their homes in North America. So down here at the bottom of the page, it says deserts are dry lands that receive little rain. The Kit, ah, I already told you this, is a kind, small kind of North American fox. Also, the general name for a baby fox. Oh, so a kit is a baby fox, but it also is its own kind of fox. I did not know that. Foxes usually eat meat. They hunt more at night than in the daytime. Some foxes also eat plants. They will eat eggs, worms, and beetles too. Foxes often pounce, that means jump, on small animals when hunting. So I have to tell you, I haven't made you guys a video yet, but I got chickens about a month ago. And I had to work really hard to build them a chicken coop that would keep foxes out. Because foxes will eat eggs. And it's really confusing for me because I love foxes. But I also love my chickens, and I don't want their eggs to get taken away, and I don't want the chickens to get hurt. But I also 
don't want to stop the foxes from doing what they do best, and that's just being a fox. Very confused. <laughs> a mother fox typically has four to six kits. They stay in the den with her for the first two weeks. They start learning how to hunt after two months. Wild foxes usually live three to five years. This little red fox will look like its parents in about two months. The older Arctic fox kits, it's these, already look like their parent. And then down here gives us a definition of den. A home that is hidden, like an underground space. Foxes may share a home range with family members. However, the red fox lives alone. Foxes sleep outside or in a den. A fox may have many dens inside its home range. A hollow log makes a good hiding place for a fox. And then it defines home range as an area of land where an animal finds food and spends its time. So instead of just having one place they call home, kind of like we usually have one building that we live in, foxes live in a whole area. So several miles, they can call that whole area their home. And a, living in sev many different dens would mean, it would be kind of like if we had a bed over here and then a bed in that house and then a bed in somebody else's house. A fox goes around its home range. It marks the borders so that other foxes know who lives there. It hunts by itself. It runs fast to chase prey. A fox's top speed is 30 miles per hour. The swift fox, one of the smallest North American foxes, can run as fast as the red fox. Prey are animals that are hunted by other animals. So if an animal is a carnivore, then it has prey. But if an animal is an herbivore, then it doesn't have prey. Foxes and their kits may be spotted playing near their den in the wild. Or foxes can be seen hunting in their home range. It's always exciting to catch a glimpse of these amazing animals. Arctic foxes are white for the winter and grow brownish gray fur for the spring and summer. Why do you think that is? Let's look at this picture. What else is white in this picture? The snow. So in the winter, the foxes turn white so that they are camouflaged from their predators. But when the snow melts in the fall or the spring and the summer, they turn back to gray so that they can blend into the rest of the vegetation, the grass, the dirt, the rocks, so that they can be camouflaged from their predators. It'd be crazy if we could turn colors. All right, fun facts. A group of foxes is called a skulk or a leash. Foxes can hear so well that they are able to hear a rodent digging underground. Foxes that live near oceans eat fish and crabs. Foxes may bury food under leaves or snow to save it for another day. Foxes make about 20 different sounds, including yipping, growling, whimpering, or howling. They can recognize each other's voices. There's one sound they make called the vixen scream. It sounds like a woman screaming, and it is a weird, weird sound. Burrows dug by foxes can have multiple entrances and exits. Burrows are places to sleep, store food, and have kits. Foxes in the same family group will play and wrestle together. A fox's eyes allow it it to see in dim light, which is why it is most active at night. Bye.
last page.